You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some fry balls. What's going on, Ask Our Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another new episode of the NASCAR Diecast News, hosted by me, a rich big Bry. As always, guys, I'm bringing you guys your weekly NASCAR Diecast News throughout each and every month until it's the very end of the 2015 NASCAR Diecast season. Holy moly, guys, uh, the Diecast season is almost among us. I believe we only got about like a good three weeks left, or by the time I upload this video, probably two and a half weeks left until the 2015 season is over. But I'm sure we're going to have some 2015 diecasts are still going to come in the year 2016. And once we uh, start off the next new season on the NASCAR diecast news, which will be somewhere in January when we get when we get any new cars in. So uh, stay tuned for that, everybody. And also for the season five uh, finale of the NASCAR diecast news, which will be on December 31st. And I'll make sure I upload that uh, in the meantime for that. But... For now, we do got some NASCAR diecasts that have came out, and we do got a couple bunch of news to show you guys. Um, but of course, we do got some new cars that came in from our good friends at Play Me Sells and or KSA Diecast. Uh, let's just say uh, a specific car brand has finally came in here. The SpongeBob cars have finally arrived, and uh, one of them arrived for this wave, and I'm looking forward to review most of them. We do got some more pre-orders as well, including Kyle Busch's uh, championship Sprint Cup cars. Um, you know, you could get all your championship gear now for the new reigning Sprint Cup champion, Kyle Busch. Um, because my last episode of NASCAR, I guess, news uh, was before um, before um, NASCAR crowned its champion. So that's really cool right there. And, of course, we can leave off with cancellations. Some more Tales 15 NASCAR diecast have been canceled. And we do have our first 2016 diecast that has been canceled. But don't worry, it's not really a big one, but we do got more details on that very shortly. And also, Wave 4 is here, guys. Yep, I will give you guys my honest review. You can catch, uh, you can find Wave 4 at um, your local stores possibly now, especially in Illinois, because that's where we got all this information from, thanks to an uh, eBay buyer or eBay seller on in Illinois. But we got much more details and more as the NASCAR Diecast News starts right now. But before we do that, guys, let's take a look at the best-selling diecasts that were from the last episode of the NASCAR Diecast News. All right, everybody, so we're going to kick off the NASCAR Diecast News with uh, your favorite, your newly released Diecast from our good friends at Plan B Sales and or KC Diecast, and also supporting your local deals right there, uh, including your mind's Lester's Diecast. Uh, check them out. Uh, they have a really awesome uh, um, eBay site. So, yep. Yeah. Otherwise, let's get on with the newly released Diecast, and let's see. The first one right here is a car that uh, I think... This is probably the most highly anticipated Casey Kane car release, the Casey Kane's 2015 Aquafina car. Um, if you guys noticed that this car was actually supposed to be in the Pepsi car, you remember, I believe, like very earlier, like late last year, uh, Pepsi announced a uh, sponsorship change, or, you know, they changed their um, 
let's just say they changed the look of the car for the Pepsi cars. Um, but um, it looks like um, they made a little significant change of once they went to Pocono because he was supposed to drive the Pepsi car at Pocono, but they switched to Aquafina, which is owned by PepsiCo. Um, if you guys didn't know that, so um, I kind of see that because you know, I mean, the Pepsi car was basically just like the Gordon car, just instead just slap a five on it instead of the twenty four, which is you know kind of disrespectful because you know Gordon, it, this was Gordon's year, so I'm not quite sure why they made the change, but it is sure one hell of a fresh car to get. I mean, I love all the uh, little um, water wave, the water effects it has on this car, so it's a pretty refreshing car I have to say I'm not really intending any puns right there I tried my best but uh just can't help myself uh, this car definitely probably would have highly recommend getting because it's uh it's a car that really stands out in my opinion all right and the next one is uh a Clint Boyer car the Maxwell house car this was a new sponsorship deal that they had which only lasted for this year ironically don't know if they will return with him and H. Scott Motorsports for next year. Who knows, maybe, because 5 Iron G is returning with them. Um, but um, let's just say Lino kind of screwed up on the blue a little bit. I mean, I do see that this is on the EL mold, so we're finally getting some more uh, EL Toyotas. I mean, it first happened on that uh, Matt DiBenedetto uh, dustless blasting car. So uh, I'm really liking that Lionel's making this change for... Um, um, putting EL Toyotas out there so I think next year's gonna be awesome with the uh, EL mold on the Toyotas so um, because in my opinion they have much more better quality but the blue I mean it, and I, I don't know if it's the lighting or what but the blue does a little dark does look a little bit dark on this car in the renders there was light so if you guys can tell me what shade of blue was actually was right on the car because I can't really tell I think this might be right but in my opinion it looks a little darker but uh, a pretty simple car but you know it's uh, something that's a little different for Clint Boyer's cars, especially since Mike Walsh Racing is done with this season. So, probably a good idea to get this car since you know MWR is you know down the toaster now. And the next one, guys, it is your reigning 2015 S or Sprint Cup Series champion, Kyle Busch. I mean, yep, I hate to say that, but that is your new champion, guys, with this new chase format. So, we gotta deal with that. But the Kyle Busch Skittles car is now available in the uh, EL Toyota mold as well. So looking very nice. And if you look really closely on the C panel, there is a Monster logo. So this might be some good. So uh, we're starting to see Lionel start to promote the uh, energy drinks, um, you know, because that was a big controversy. So um, maybe this is a good step forward, hopefully. I mean, I'm surprised this car is not on a base because usually... Um, I mean, I, we have not seen, you know, I mean, uh, usually they take that sponsor out, but um, I'm kind of glad they got away with that. I mean, they did it with the Kurt Busch Haas retro car that he drove at Darlington. So um, it's kind of cool that they're kind of getting away with that, even though I think the sponsors allowed them to um, with all that. All right, and the next one for any of you Larson fans out there, I'm counting on you, Race Day 2011, who has jumped on the uh, Larson um Fanatics, I mean, uh, welcome to uh, Larson Nation, Robbie Noonan. <laughs> the uh, Kyle Larson Parker Store Car. This is one of Kyle Larson's uh, longtime sponsors uh, when he, um, ever since he moved up in the division. So, really cool to see uh, that sponsorship still last even until uh, um, getting to the big leagues like NASCAR, especially in the Xfinity series. Um, yeah, a very interesting car. I think this car looks very nice, um, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people prefer his annuals card than um, this one, but uh, I like this different change. Uh, that's, um, that's uh, I mean, I know this car has a lot of history with Larson, like I said, so if you're a big Larson fan, probably recommend getting this, you know, because uh, that sponsor means a lot to him, and sure it will to any Larson fans out there. And the next one is probably, I think, will be, I, I say, probably the best looking Kyle Larson car for this year. Last year's, it was, I believe, Kyle Larson's Korox car, which was the best looking but this year I think this one's right here the Kyle Larson Target Bullseye car you guys know that is the uh, mascot or icon for Target which is one of my favorite uh, places I like to shop at sorry Walmart um, yeah or I mean I like Wegmans too but Target is the way to go if I don't have a Wegmans uh, near me but uh, thankfully I live in New York but anyways back to the topic yeah um, 
It does look pretty simple, but uh, I really am digging the red on this car. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, of course, yeah, it, it's Atari, so it's supposed to have red, but this car, and I uh, hate to bring up IndyCar on this, but this car reminds me of Scott Dixon's car, because it's just red, and it's just got the red base with the white Target logos. Man, that looks like your, uh, man, that looks like Scott Dixon's car right there. I mean, uh, and speaking of which, a uh, shout out to him. He is the 2015 IndyCar Series champion. Congrats to good old Scott Dixon. Hoping to cheer on for him for next year in uh, the 2016 Verizon IndyCar Series. So go Kyle Larson and go Scott Dixon. The target drivers are rocking and rolling for next year, I tell you what. But uh, the next one right here is probably, I say, a, a fail the year diecast. But, uh, a v I mean, <laughs> can't just say it. This car is pretty dang ugly. The Jimmy Johnson's red, the Lowe's red vest car. Oh, where do I begin with this car? I mean, first of all, let's get the errors out of the way. The Chase Banner and the Chase Spoiler. As you guys know, Jimmy Johnson was eliminated from the Chase before this car ran, but, you know, Lionel had this car already in production, thinking that Jimmy Johnson was going to make it in to the second round. But, you know, with the Chase system, you know, things can be unpredictable, and this stuff happens, so can't really blame Lionel. I think I had to blame, you know, NASCAR for having this unpredictable Chase system because, you know, uh... I mean, if I was in Lionel shoes, I wouldn't know. I mean, I, I, I probably would do the same thing and be like, yeah, Johnson's in the chase, but um, in that circumstance, um, you know, something happened at Dover, and then look where it got him, man. He got eliminated. But, um, and yeah, and the red on this car, oh my God, it's pretty ugly. I mean, I expected like a nice bright red car, but, and the thing about this, this is on the yellow mold, so... Um, maybe that's how the red was on beca because on the EL molds usually uh, they don't mess up the colorings on the PTC mold usually the colors are really off but um, I guess that's the color of the red and to be honest it looks um, really dull and I'm not really digging it I mean uh, I hope they make a different change for next year I mean I think this car doesn't work well <laughs> with uh, especially with the chase bears I mean this car is a mess so if you're a Johnson fan I probably would skip this one even though he did want this car at Texas but just I don't know there's something about this car there's many things of this car that I don't really like and um, usually I say buy any die cast you want or buy every die cast that's on the list but this one I probably would highly recommend passing because it's just not that good looking in my opinion sorry to say all right, and the, this one right here is probably the best for last. I mean, we do have another car to show you, but who really cares about that one? Uh, the spot, let's just say the highly anticipated SpongeBob cars that finally here. Uh, let, only one of them have came out so far, and it's one I think many people were looking forward to since uh, this is the first David Reagan car for this year. I mean, it really does suck to see that David Reagan is not going to have a ride for next year. I really expected them to drove the 9 car for next year, but Richard Bay Motorsports decided to hire Brian Scott. So tell me what you guys think of that little, uh, you know, situation right there. I mean, it's all about the money, I understand, but, you know, Reagan Smith or David Reagan could have been a good driver for that nine but anyways back to on it uh this car right here oh man <laughs> if you're a big fan of spongebob i mean i would highly recommend getting this car because i know you guys are i know all the kids out there are gonna love this car because you know it's spongebob square pants and that was probably one of the most hype one of the most hype races uh for this year at kansas despite you know uh, jimmy johnson winning but um it was a pretty cool race, you know, seeing the SpongeBob cars, you know, racing. Uh, I, I can't wait till a Squidward car comes out um, because, you know, uh, I think I know a lot of people in my life who are, you know, similar to Squidward. So that's going to be a interesting review right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely don't miss out on this car. It is one hell of a nice car to get. I like the special boxes that came with it. So uh, definitely the hype is real. For the SpongeBob cars, and the last one, I mean, I wouldn't really say this is the first 2016 car, but it kind of is. Um, yeah, the class of 2016 car, a uh, much more different change. I mean, um, they decided to go with the black and blue this year, which I don't mind. I mean, uh, it's a little different change. I mean, I don't know. It, it looks all right. I mean, I'm glad they went with the Ford because you know next year they do have the new Ford models. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, not really too much to say about this car, but if you do collect the Hall of Fame cars, um, it's your chance to get one of these now. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool right there. 
All right, so we are going to skip on some on the pre-orders, but I just want to say a quick little stuff right there. Um, you know, um, NASCAR's over, and um, let's just say we're going to have a couple cool race win 164s to come in very shortly. Um, the first one, um, best, I mean, uh, I'll probably do in numerical order, Kyle Busch's championship race win car will be in both scales. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I mean, I'm really glad that they are starting to make 164s, uh, race win 164s that are not Dale Jr. or Jeff Gordon because I understand they make a lot of money, but I would love to see some variety. And this is uh, probably... I mean, I'm not a big fan of Kyle Busch, but if, if this thing gets produced, which it probably will because this guy is a champion, um, that's going to be interesting right there. So I'm looking forward to this race win. I mean, I'm a, I, I, I mean, I, 124s, I mean, I, those are pretty cool, but getting race win 164s are pretty rare nowadays uh, with drivers unlike Dale Jr. and Jeff Gordon. So I'm glad that Lionel decided to um, put this at the last minute um, for that. And the next one, uh, I was probably expecting this, the Jeff Gordon's Homestead Final Ride. A lot of people wonder why they remade this, because on the regular version, on the 164, um, it does not have the chase banners on it, because, um, you know, like I said, with the uh, unpredictable chase system, anything can happen. And long before hold, you know, Jeff Gordon made an end very far and made it to the Final Four after that win at uh, Martinsville, which was a huge win for the 24 team in his final year at NASCAR and um, but I think this car is going to be way worth it I mean if you guys did bought the final ride car I think you guys feel a little you know I mean don't feel betrayed I mean uh, it's good that you still bought that final ride car but this is probably the one that you will definitely need to get now because not only it will have the correct chase banners on it but it will also have race marks on it or you know whatever um, race marks that it had on the car in uh, Homestead so that's really really cool that Lionel is doing that for both scales uh, thumbs up right there and the last one is the Rick um, I almost said Ricky Stiles Jr. oh god Fail. Boom, 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 boom. The Chris Busher's 2015 Hopestead Championship car. And uh, yes, they're going to make these in both 164 and 124. But don't get too hyped up yet, guys, because as much as I hate to say it, the NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship logo will be on the roof of the car instead of the number. Which, of course, I hate. I mean, a lot of people are, a lot of people are wondering. Um, why can't they just put on the deck lid? And I kind of like the idea too. It's because the sponsors, like say, the sponsor Fast Fall was on the deck lid. They want to be there, all right? So I understand that because, you know, a number is a number. You don't really have to take that away. A sponsor is a big deal and they'll lose money if you take that sponsor away and, you know, they'll get upset. So I understand that, but just, uh, there's got to be a better way, you know, to place a championship logo because just, uh, that's that's what turned me off on the Chase Elliott race win two-pack, which is basically what's going to be. It's going to be just like that, except it's just not a two-pack. But that's what, you know, really just, I got turned off on that car last year. I was really looking forward to get that two-pack car, then when I saw the two logos, I mean, last year was unacceptable because they had the logos of the racetracks, which is really effing, um, I don't want to use the profanity, but it was really clueless move for Lionel. It could have easily put that on the deck lit like they, like um, some other older um, diecast dealers, some diecast companies used to do, like Team Caliper with my car, Leverage Atlanta win. That has uh, the racetrack on, the racetrack uh, logo on the deck lit. So, I mean, I, I wish they would do that, but you know, I mean, it's an easy fix if you're a custom maker, but just... Ah, that just gives me OCD when they put the logo on that on the roof of the car instead of the number. Probably, I know you guys probably heard that a million times from me, but you know it just keeps happening because you know Lionel they just like to do that to us. All right, now we're getting, for now we are going to get on to the cancellations. This could be a pretty lengthy episode of the NASCAR DKS News because we got a lot to talk about and the season's almost wrapping up. So, yep. All right, so we got some Roush cars to show you guys. I mean. I'm not surprised to see more <coughs> Roush cars getting canceled. Uh, Trevor Baines, um, paint the track pink, uh, number six car. I mean, this car he did drove at Charlotte, so I'm. Uh, it's pretty disappointing to see that car getting canceled, uh, especially for any Bain fans out there. But I'm not surprised. You know, it is a Trevor Bain car, so you know 
Um, not really too much to say right there. It's Roush equipment, so I'm not surprised any of these cars getting canceled. Next deal is the same deal with the uh, Greg Biffle Roush Performance Paint Car. It's another one of those cars that, you know, not much recognition. And, you know, the team are just not doing good anymore. So I highly understand why that, that the Greg Biffle car got canceled well. And last but not least, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s uh, for the Roush cars. The Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Juicy uh, juice car, right? Not juicy fruit like the gum. Juicy juice, which I guess, I mean, hate to be Captain Obvious, but I think that's juice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, th this was an interesting car, but not enough recognition, apparently. I mean, this would have been a really cool car to get uh, for Stenhouse, but like I said, not enough recognition, and the Roush equipment is horrible, so I'm not surprised seeing that car getting canceled. Uh, who would have known your reigning champion uh, would have been canceled right here? Kyle Busch's uh, uh, championship interstate batteries car getting canceled. I mean, um, of course, that was going to have the championship logo on top. So, But this is only 124 Elite, but I do think they are making them 164 and 124. So any Elite, any, uh, elite collectors, uh, they're going to be feeling a little sad about that. But... Uh, his crispy M&M's car is still there, so uh, half faith, guys, half faith. The Michael Annette TMC car is only canceled in the 164 scale. I mean, this car, I mean, when it first came on pre-order, I think a lot of people were, were thinking, yeah, this car is getting canceled. But at least Lionel gave it a shot. I mean, at least the 124 is going to be produced, but uh, very unfortunate to see the Annette car getting canceled. At least we had his last year's car with the Pilot J. Pilot, pilot, filing, uh, flying J car. Oh my god, <laughs> that's gonna be an IRA ad right there, apparently. <laughs> um, from Hello Error. All right, so, uh, yeah, that wraps up for the 2015 cars. And the next one I'm about to show you is the first 2016 cancellation, but don't get too worried, guys. Um, it is the Ryan Newman's Quicken Loans. Um, car which is canceled in 124 and 164 they did not show a picture of this car so this is basically i don't think this is what the scheme is actually gonna look like but um i don't think this car is actually real or this pre-order was actually real because if you guys heard the news of quick and loans they are going to be leaving um RCR of Rock for Ryan Newman, and they're going to be switching over to Casey Kane of Hendrick Motorsports. So maybe we're going to see a different scheme, which I mean, good move because uh, I mean, it sucks for Newman that he lost a, a sponsor to uh, Hendrick because you know, Hendrick they always dominate with the sponsors, but um, you know, it's what it is. I mean, I hate that saying, but you know, that's how it goes, you know. Yeah, it's all about the money, and I guess Wicked Loans, they made a right move to go to uh, Henrik, even though Casey Kane's not really the bright, not the brightest driver in uh, Henrik Motorsports. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to take a little short commercial break, guys, and we return. And when we return, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest review on Wave of Four for NASCAR Authentic Spin Master. Happy, 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 happy. I'm so happy today. I bet you're wondering, why is this clown so happy? Well, come on down to the IRA Racing website to figure out now. That's www.irayracing.weebly.com. Hey, welcome back to the NASCAR Diecast News. So now we're going to get on to my honest review for Wave 4. And we're going to give you guys some latest news on that as well. So yeah, apparently Wave 4 has been, I mean, has been officially released now from uh, an eBay buyer. Um, I forgot what his name is, but uh, he was from Illinois from what I know of. Um, yeah, that's uh, interesting right there. So if you live in Illinois, I believe you are guaranteed to get Wave 4. As I believe Spin Master is slowly moving their way in. <coughs> <clears throat> across the nation to get a uh, wave four out. I mean, I know some of you guys still haven't got wave three yet, but um, that's very unfortunate for all you guys. I mean, good thing there's online shopping. <laughs> but um, yeah, wave four is finally here, guys. I mean, at least we didn't wait like a good half a year like we did with wave three. But we know all the good reasons why wave three was canceled. I mean, not canceled. Uh, good lord, can I scare right there? Um, why it was on a big, big delay. But um, luckily, um, luckily, wave four. Um, didn't took that long. I mean, Wave 4 was announced back in the uh, uh, end of August, I believe. Um, funny story, actually, is... Um, I'm going to wrap it up a little quicker right there so I can get on the review. But a little funny story. I mean, it was 
how we found out about Wave 4, I was uh, on my Instagram at Pocono Speedway in the infield with some of my good friends, uh, Rob Race Day 2011 and David Land on YouTube. Um, so you probably got, you probably know who those guys are if you guys don't know. <laughs> but uh, we were in the infield of uh, Pocono right at the road course that they have in the infield and we found out about the news and just um, when we saw the cars that came out or that were announced for way for our jaws literally dropped I mean when we saw you know oh my god they're making this and they're making that which I'll sh uh, talk about really quickly so uh, yeah <laughs> that's gonna be cool right there but now let's get on to the reviews and I'm gonna start in numerical order so let's start off with the Jamie McMurray Cessna car yep so um um, good deal that um, it's a really good deal that they decided to make us uh, Spin Mash decided to make the Cessna car because last year they did make his Madoc, uh, McDonald's car so uh, great move right there can't really say too much about this car but I'm glad that they made both Ganassi cars for this year I mean uh, if, you, if you guys know uh, they made the Larson car wave two for this year so uh, this car will look really good with the Larson car and um, I didn't know Jamie Murray was a future star, so uh, nice job for that, NASCAR Authentics. Uh, uh, I think you know, they're running out of uh, group, uh, group names for these drivers. Um, because I, I know this car, I mean, uh, I know last year's he was in the fast food section, but this year, uh, I don't think Cessna's fast food, so I understand why they did it right there. But um, a very simple car, but you know, if you don't got McMur if you ha didn't got the chance to get the McMurray McDonald's car, then this is the car the way to go right here. So yeah, all right. And the next one right here is probably one I'm very excited about. Um, I I, I kind of had a feeling that they were they were going to make this car. Um, Especially since uh, this is probably the Harvey car, I highly would recommend getting his Die Tech car um, for the Great Racers section right here. Um, easily without, I would, I mean, if you guys didn't get the Jimmy John's car, which is basically the same as you know, as you know, last year, and you know, but um, yeah, I probably recommend getting this car. Uh, huge times more because I like bright and vibrant schemes and this one right here really stands out um, Spin Master did a good job you know producing this car I mean uh, even though I had a weird and interesting feeling that they were gonna make this and they did so uh, how about that right there so nice job at Spin Master for uh, finally producing this car as many Harvey fans were probably wonder if they were ever gonna make that car but they did and uh, Nice move for uh, NASCAR Authentics to do that right there. So uh, go Harvick Nation. <laughs> All right, and I'm not surprised to see in a Tony Stewart car, Stewart, another Tony Stewart car getting produced. Uh, his Rush Truck Center's car. I mean, this car is a meh, but you know they did not made this car yet, so I understand why they made that. Especially uh, great timing because you know Tony Stewart's last year is um next year so um I, I kind of a perfect timing to get ready for the stewart hype because tony stewart's gonna be the next big hype um i hope so 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 i'm glad that um nascar authentic decided to make this car i mean even though it's not really you know a, a car that will blow your mind but you know uh yeah it, it'll be perfect for any smoke fans out there uh since he is a hard driver and so um <laughs> The Jeff Gordon 3M car, easy with doubt, this probably is the car that causes Gordon to have bad luck. Same with Dale Jr.'s Die Do car. I don't know if that's a superstition or what, but it kind of seems like it. Every time I see Jeff Gordon drive the 3M car, it just seems like, oh, he's in the wall, he's going to crash, you know? Um, so, yeah, and ironically, he drove this car at freaking Darlington, so that's not bad luck. I don't know what the heck is. <laughs> Uh, so much for a throwback 3M. Ah, man. Talk about a fail of the year. <laughs> but at least Gordon showed them off and made it into the final four. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but, I'm, I am I'm, I mean, once again, um, when, when it comes to making money, um, NASCAR Authentic sit right on this. Got to have a Gordon car or a junior car. And uh, let's just say they got that right right there. So I'm glad they made this 3M car. I probably recommend picking this up because, you know, it's not it's not like it's Gordon's last year. But um, if you guys didn't get the chance to get the 3M car, the 3M race day car, this is your chance right here. Because no, a lot of you guys don't like to do online shopping or can't afford it. So, uh, I mean, if you go to Walmart, these things are like $2.97 a piece. So if you can afford that, then you're going to be really hooked up right there. Um, which I'm glad NASCAR Authentics does that because it gives guys who uh, who uh, like that physical 
shopping. You know, you go into a store and walk in, and, you know, I mean, I know Walmart's not, you know, the best looking diecast store ever, but, you know, I still get, you know, that um, anticipation like, oh, I wonder what new wave came out. And uh, I'm still in that process right now. Luckily, I have not got any, uh, I have not got any luck yet. But uh, anyways, yeah, the Jeff Gordon 3M car, I would highly recommend picking up, like I said, because uh, it is a Gordon car. So uh, if you miss out on this, sorry to say. <laughs> so I don't know about that. <laughs> this one right here is probably, this will be probably, I think, the car, if you do not get this car, I think you're missing out because there are several opportunities to get the Jimmy Johnson Lowe's car. Um, I mean, of course, Lionel did offer like two versions of this, the the regular version and the Lowe's Pro Services car. And then I believe, uh, I think Lowe's had a promotion on uh, if you buy 48 pack battery, you should get this car right here, which is on the EL mode. And now Lionel, I mean, not Lionel, NASCAR Authentics is now making has now produced the Lowe's car, which I'm probably going to get because I have not got a Jimmy Johnson NASCAR Authentics car yet. So if you guys have missed out on this car, this is your chance right here. But however, though, there is a fail on this car. Can you look a little closely? Oh, if you guys have not already, I hate to say it, but you might not know your teams. <laughs> so NASCAR Authentics did a little fail right there. Luckily, it wasn't on the die cast, not that I know of, but uh, feel free to let me know if they did put the Junior Motorsports logo on the headlights of that car. But um, yeah, apparently NASCAR Authentics thinks that Jimmy Johnson is a driver for Junior Motorsports. Wow, <laughs> that I don't think that'd be a great strategy right there because, you know, Johnson's already good enough at Hendrick equipment, so I don't know what to say about that right there. But, uh, yeah, a very nice looking car. Highly recommend getting this if you guys, I mean, you should get it because there are so many opportunities to get this car, so, uh, yeah. And the next one, I, I'm sure this is probably the most hyped car of the wave. Uh, one of our final four uh, guys, another one of our final fours, uh, the Mark Trex Jr. Um, Denver Mattress slash Furniture Row Chevrolet. Um, I could right off the bat see an error. They don't have the World Vision logo on it, but uh, you know, you can only ask for so much. I, I, I'm just glad that they finally produced uh, a Mark Trex Jr. car. When I saw the announcement of that they're making a Truex car, my jaw dropped and I, you know, got excited and the look on David and Rob's face when I, <laughs> when I saw that, well, they're priceless, but uh, I'm sure David Lang got a little excited as well because, you know, <laughs> me and him love NASCAR Authentics, yeah. But anyways, yes, the Truex Jr. Furniture Row car. Truex Jr. is one of my third favorite drive is my, my second and third favorite drivers, so... Of course, uh, I supported Truex Nation when uh, he was in the Final Four, but um, definitely recommend getting this car. I think this car will be pretty hard to find because it is a small budgeted team, um, and there's a lot of people who love the small budget cars, you know? I mean, uh, this is one of them, and then they made the Ch JTG Daughtry cars with Almading or Labonte, and then the Wood Brothers cars for um, Trevor Bain, so um, I have, like, I think all of them right there, so... Uh, I mean, <laughs> this. Uh, I mean, if you had to pick one out of this wave, this one would be right here because uh, it's a small team. So you got to go with whatever, which one is going to be, you know, the most hardest to find. I think this one right here will be the one right there. But who knows? NASCAR Authentics could overproduce these and, you know, might not be that right after all. But, uh, yeah, very, very awesome that NASCAR Authentics did this. So, uh can I get a hell yeah for NASCAR Authentics for making the Truex Jr. Uh, furniture row car? And the final one, I mean, long and behold, it is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. car. And this guy is actually in Hendrick and Junior Motorsports. I think someone didn't do their job right when they did that Johnson car. Um, but uh, yeah, the Dale Jr. Tax Slayer. We got ourselves yet yeah, another Xfinity car. I'm really digging that they're liking that they're getting all these Xfinity drivers. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, I, a lot of people are like, oh yeah. I mean, uh, when they announced the Dale Jr. When they announced the Tax Slayer car, I mean, we we, we, we would have known it would be a Dale Jr. car because they're already making a Kevin Harvick car in this wave. So. Uh, yeah, so a nice little variety um, for that 88 car. Like I said, I'm glad they're making the Xfinity, more Xfinity cars, even though their mold for the Xfinity series is a little more, uh, 
wider than Lionel, but I mean, at least they're trying. I mean, I gotta give NASCAR Authentics for that, that they are making an Xfinity series. I mean, diecast. I mean, you can only ask for so much for NASCAR Authentics, even though they do make some errors for once in a while. But uh, overall, what do I have to say about this wave? I think this is a wave that is very and highly anticipated. I mean, there are some good cars to get right here. I mean, I, I, I don't think, I mean, I mean, I think the only cars that, that I would pass, in my opinion, would probably the uh, Tony Stewart Rush Truck Center's car, but all the other ones are actually really cool. I mean, I highly recommend the Kevin Harvick Ditech, the the Jeff Gordon 3M, the Jimmy Johnson Lowe's, and the Furniture Row 78 car. Um, I mean, I think those four right there are easily with doubt. I think could be the favorites right there, but... Of course, Junior will probably squeeze his way in there as well. And, um, yeah, but um, overall, the Wave 4, um, good wave. I mean, I love the variety it has. You know, we got some good drivers. We got some okay drivers. And then, uh, you know, we got that surprise right there with Truex. So, um, I say this was a easily without a very interesting wave. And hoping we can see more soon. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be a Wave 5 or a Wave 6. So, who knows? Maybe um, Sim Master's already thinking about 2016, or who knows, maybe Lionel's got something in store for us when they uh, get their um, retail release up, when they get their retail um, line up very soon. But other than that, guys, this has been the NASCAR Diecast News. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we are almost close to the finale, guys. Uh, on December 31st, so tune in for that, where I'm going to be showing you guys all of the 2015 NASCAR Diecast combined. Um, it's just, I'm not really be talking that much. I'm just going to be showing you guys pictures and pictures and wonderful music. Um, a nice little montage of all the diecasts that have been released from Lionel Racing, uh, Spin Master, and promotional um, sponsors. And those are always been some favorites right there. I mean, because uh, it's, it's a nice little collage of uh, some of the great diecasts that came out for this year. So tune in for that, guys, on December 31st. And, uh, Please give this video a good comment, like it. If you guys have not already, subscribe to more on my channel, Original Big Ride, for any more new content to come regarding NASCAR Diecast or NASCAR Diecast reviews, or who knows? I mean, uh, what other ideas we got right there? Also, check out the IRA IndyCar World Series. Uh, I am going to be, I am in the broadcast booth, so uh, the IRA is back and better than ever, and make sure you check that out. And also, Matt's Race News. Um, that's another cool series to check check to check out as well uh, the, the, the the i race back and better than ever and the inaugural race let, let me just say this in just many words um in a few words it was effing amazing but um yeah guys <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time here on the nascar diecast news for any more of your latest nascar diecast news to come so until we meet again guys this is Ridge rick bryce signing off and long live the nascar diecast news